Hi, Turbo Girl. Do you know what area and perimeter are? I have learnt that area is the space inside a figure and perimeter is the outline of a figure. Then, do you know how to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle? I know that area of a rectangle is the product of its length and its breadth, and the perimeter of a rectangle is the sum of all its sides. For example, this rectangle measures 12 cm by 5 cm. Its area is 12 times 5, which is equal to 60 square centimeters, and its perimeter is 12 plus 12 plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to 34 centimeters. That's absolutely right. We shall try to solve some questions related to area and perimeter, shan't we? Yippee! This is a square of side 7 centimeters. What is its area? A square has four equal sides. So its length and breadth are the same. Therefore, area of the square equals to 7 times 7, which is equal to 49 square centimeters. Good. Now take a look at this figure. Can you find its area? Uh, it looks like the letter L. Look carefully. We can divide the figure into two parts by drawing a vertical dotted line. Now tell me, what are the shapes you can see? Figure A is a rectangle and figure B is a square. Bingo! Do you realize that they look exactly like the two shapes which we found the areas earlier? Oh yes, teacher! Area of figure A is 12 times 5, which is equal to 60 square centimeters. And the area of figure B is 7 times 7, which is equal to 49 square centimeters. To find the area of the figure, I have to add the area of the rectangle and the area of the square. 60 plus 49, which is equal to 109 square centimeters. Very good. Want to try another question? Okay. Can you find the shaded area of this figure? Hmm, it looks like two rectangles, but I'm not sure how to find the shaded area. Well, if you find first the area of the bigger rectangle, and then find the area of the smaller one inside it, all you have to do, then, is to take the bigger area minus the smaller one. Oh, I can find the area of the big rectangle. It is 12 times 14, which is 168 square centimeters. But I am not sure about the smaller one. I do not have its length nor its breadth. The length of the small rectangle is 14 minus 3 minus 3, which is equal to 8 centimeters. Its breadth is 12 minus 2 minus 3, which is equal to 7 centimeters. Okay, the area of the small rectangle is 8 times 7, which is equal to 56 square centimeters. Shaded area equals to area of the big rectangle minus area of the small rectangle, which is equal to 168 minus 56, which is equal to 112 square centimeters. Good work, Turbo Girl. We have gone through some questions on finding area. Now let's move on to some questions on finding perimeter of figures involving rectangle and square. Find the perimeter of this square. A square has four equal sides, so its perimeter equals to 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, which is equal to 9 times 4 which is equal to 36 centimeters. Good. Look at this figure. It is made up of 10 3 centimeter squares. Can you find its perimeter? Perimeter is the outline of a figure. Thus, I only need to add up the sides of the figure. I have to add AC 9 centimeters, CD 6 centimeters, DE 3 centimeters, EF 6 centimeters, GF 6 cm, GH 6 cm, BH 6 cm, and AB 6 cm. Its perimeter equals to 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, plus 6 which is equals to 48 cm. Excellent work! That isn't hard, Turbo Go. Yep, teacher. Give me another question. Okay. Can you find the perimeter of the figure? I have to add up all the sides. AB equals to 6 centimeters. BC equals to 5 centimeters. 
CD equals to 6 centimeters. To get the length of DE, I will have to take 14 minus 5, which is equals to 9, and then take 9 minus 5, which gives 4 centimeters. DE equals 4 centimeters. EF equals to 6 centimeters. FG equals 5 centimeters. GH equals 6 centimeters. HA equals to 14 centimeters. Perimeter of the figure equals to AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FG plus GH plus HA, which is equals to 14 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6, which is equals to 52 centimeters. Very good, Turbo Girl. But there is a simpler way to find its perimeter. We can move the sides BC and CD out like this, and similarly do the same for EF and FG. Thus, now we have a complete rectangle. The length of the rectangle is 14 cm and its breadth is 12 cm. Can you tell its perimeter from here? Yes, teacher. 14 plus 12 plus 14 plus 12 equals to 52 centimeters. Wow, this is much simpler and faster. Indeed, Turbo Girl. But you have to make sure that the sides can be completely moved to form a basic square or rectangle before you can use this method. Alright, teacher. Turbo Girl, what can we find if we are given the area and breadth of a rectangle? Mm. Let me think of something related to the area and breadth. Is its length? Good answer. Tell me, how did you come to think of that, Turbo Girl? Since area equals to length times breadth, if area and breadth are given, we can find length. For example, if the area is 36 square centimeters and its breadth is 4 centimeters, we know that 9 times 4 equals to 36. Therefore, its length is 9 centimeters. Well done, Turbo Girl. From here, we can conclude that length is equals to area divided by breadth. Let's look at this figure. Can you solve it? Length times breadth equals area. 9 times breadth equals 45. Since 9 times 5 equals to 45, so the breadth is 5 centimeters. Good. From here, we can tell that breadth is equals to area divided by length, which is 45 divided by 9, which gives us 5 centimeters. Take a look at this figure. If the perimeter of a rectangle is 22 centimeters and its length is 7 centimeters, can you find its breadth? Hmm, let me think. 2 times the sum of the length and breadth is 22 centimeters. Thus, one length and one breadth add up to 11 cm. As the length is 7 cm, we subtract 7 cm from 11 cm to get the breadth, which is 4 cm. Am I right, teacher? Yes, you are correct. We have just learned how to find an unknown side of a rectangle given either the area or perimeter and the length or breadth. Now we are going to find out an unknown side of a square. Turbo Girl, can you find an unknown side of a square given its area of 64 square centimeters? The side is 8 centimeters. Wow, quick response. But how did you get that answer? Since the four sides of a square are equal, the area of a square is actually the multiplication of a side by itself. As 8 times 8 equals to 64, the answer is 8 centimeters. Well done! Your concept is correct. Now, let's try another different question. The perimeter of a square is 12 meters. Find its area. Hmm, to find the area, I need to first find a side. We know that the four sides of a square are all equal since four sides add up to 12 meters. Thus, each side is 12 divided by 4, which is equal to 3 meters. Thus, its area is 3 times 3, which is equal to 9 square meters. Right, teacher? Yes, clever girl. Turbo girl, it is time to summarize what you have learned in this lesson. 
Oh yes, teacher. Today, I have revised that area is the space inside a figure and perimeter is the outline of a figure. After that, I have learned how to break up the composite figure into squares and rectangles to find its area and perimeter. I can divide vertically or horizontally. I will then find the area of each basic shape and then add them back together. I have to add up all the sides of the figure in order to find its perimeter. In addition, I have learned how to find unknown sides of a square or a rectangle given its area or perimeter and its length or breadth. Well said, Turbo Girl. See you at the next lesson.